Hi guys, welcome to J. Scott Outdoors. Tonight I want to talk a little bit about cow calling. Um, just some of the different sounds. I'm using a, um, a Hunter Specialty Carlton single reed. Um, I like Steve Chappell's uh, orange reed as well. I think they're real good. But uh, uh, Steve's been uh, last year, last year and this year he's been really working a sound that I really like. I've kind of been doing something similar, but he's taken that high note and um, exaggerating it and I think it's a real hot sound. I'm look for, looking forward to using it this um, this season. See, I'm leaving here in a couple days. Uh, give me a couple weeks to scout before the season starts. But um, I'll just demonstrate a couple little cow calls and uh, maybe some of these sounds if you don't already do them, maybe you can take them. Go check out Steve's side as well and uh, maybe between the two of them you can pick up something to help you call it a bull. Just some soft little sounds. And then Steve's really working that excited, um, selfish, exaggerated kind of um, high pitch sound into it. So um, try this one out. I think you think you'll do well with it. For years I've been doing kind of a buzz with my throat. Um, it goes something like this. Sounds pretty natural, maybe not right up close, but when you get a little bit of ways, it uh, sounds pretty good. A lot of people talk about the buzz. I've been using that buzz for a long time. It um, seems to work pretty well. When nothing else is really working, you can get kind of aggressive and, and do that. But uh, kind of my go-to is the real soft, real subtle. It takes a lot of call control. Um, probably not the best call for a beginner, but it's a great one to try and learn. Um, but if you can get real good control of your latex and your tongue and, and the right air pressure, you can make some real sweet sounds. I use this a lot of times when I'm close or if I'm trying to get a bull to come in and close that last little distance. I'm not going to blow him out, I'm going to talk sweet to him. something like that. So hopefully those tips will help you. Uh, we've got a big elk season coming up, good 30, 35 days of chasing elk. Uh, hopefully we'll get some good encounters, get some good bulls on the ground, and we're looking forward to it. So uh, you can go for more information, uh, elk calling and elk hunting, you can go to jscottoutdoors.com uh, or find us, uh, find us on the a link on jscottoutdoors.com on uh, Colburn and Scott Outfitters. So. Uh, hopefully you'll have a good season and um, God bless you and uh, keep after.